Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the Bearded Buffalo. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've recorded a new video. I've been trying to get some of the old stuff out and dealing with the computer change. I built a PC and I lost a bunch of uh, tools that helped me put out YouTube videos. Uh, some software issue. I think we got to take care of now for the most part. Uh, I've also got the Twitch channel going. So up above on the top of the screen, uh, you'll see my Twitch channel name. Come on over. Come hang out. Um, today, we've got NBA Live 18 demo. I'm going to be real. I haven't played NBA Live once since it's been back. Um, it's been ages. But EA sounds like they're dropping the price. 20 bucks. It's going to be a $40 game. They've got like a story mode, a campaign mode. I thought, why not give it a look? I'm clearly, I mean, I'm definitely going to be playing 2K18, uh, but I thought, why not, why not give it a try with my Minnesota Timberwolves? Let's get started into uh, the rise. Yeah, it's official. Can't get the after work. It can't even detect my face. It just keeps saying, please play, align your face into the circle. Did that. All right, well, I'm done. Now I'm going to tell you this. So far, the creative player is garbage. Uh, like, face app didn't work. Fine, I never get him to work, but I almost always have a big beard when these games pop. So, um, it just, it's not able to handle it. But this one, I couldn't even get to like the scan of my face part. Like, it wouldn't even recognize that my face was in the thing. So, whatever. Um, but then, you can, got some preset head selections. I picked one. I thought I'd get to edit it like every other game I've ever played. You know, make a couple adjustments. No. And then, I went to hairstyles. And you don't pick a hairstyle and then pick a hair color. You pick a hairstyle combined with a hair color. And every kind of hairstyle doesn't have that matching, doesn't have every hair color. Not even like brown, light brown, black, and red. And red. Like, every hairstyle doesn't have every hair color. It's dumb. Every hair color doesn't have every hairstyle. Then I went to beard. Same thing. So, mediocre so far. We're gonna be a point guard. I'm always a point guard. Then I like to mess around with big man later. So, maybe we'll do that on a stream later today. I don't know. I think we'll have a point shooter. It's fun to score, but I like to get assists actually. Every choice you make here will affect your player's physical capabilities, both good and bad. So, choose wisely before you lock in. All right, so this is going to affect stats, I'm assuming. Yeah, strength goes up, speed goes down. Six four works for me. Oh, I can do weight and crap too. Can I go down? Oh, he's gonna be so tiny though. He can't be 180. Six four, 180. I mean, I don't make no sense. All right, here we go. I'm actually pretty pumped about this. Let's enjoy like the story. Millions of other kids, you dreamed of one day being in the NBA. You wanted to be a star, and someday to rise above and become the greatest to ever play. You dreamed of being the one, but the road to stardom is never easy. There are obstacles, injuries, mm. and disappointments. Adversity is universal. It can happen to anyone at any time. And one day, it happened to you. You went from being a guaranteed lottery pick to a kid who may never even play college ball again. Now look, it's always bad to hear about injuries. Looks like the subtitles are way behind. Yeah. But Stephen A. Game. Smith, this one <laughs> is particularly disheartening because we are two weeks into the season and one of the top NBA prospects in the country goes down potentially with a season ending injury, a knee injury. That's a killer. I couldn't That's agree cool, more. Uh, I heard he was carried off the floor today. All you can do is find yourself hoping cool involvement that he'll make of, it back. Uh, That's ESPN. But my heart First goes take. out to him because I didn't expect this. This is a devastating injury. It's never good to have something like this happen to you. The teen doctor broke the news. Torn ACL, 
sprained MCL, and a torn meniscus. Surgery was scheduled, but your game will likely never be the same. At the 2016 NBA Draft, your name is still mentioned. Not as a prospect, but as a cautionary tale. Seven months later. The that return. is a huge story in this year's draft. A record number of underclassmen, 30 of them, undrafted. And I hope, anyway, that this is a lesson. This serves as an example to college players. I'm not talking about the ones who are genuinely one and duns. The guys you know are going to be lottery picks. I mean the rest of them. They're not, they're not sure shots. You're not sure they're going to be lottery picks. Don't just use the college system for a year thinking you're going to bounce. It doesn't work oh, like please, that. Please. If you don't have the talent, it doesn't work. you got to be cultivated please, in the system. Please, please, There you go again with your blanket generalizations. You know how you are, oh, Max. The war is me. Oh, my Lord. I can't, I can't take it. I just can't take it. It's a case-by-case -case basis. You can't just blanketly decide this should not be one and done, or this should be one and done. you got to go on a case-by-case -case basis. Some dudes deserve to be one and done. Some people don't. It's on a case by case right. basis. And that is my point. Thank you for making it for me. Every kid thinks they're the exception to the rule. And members of the media like Ahem, Stephen A. Smith are encouraging these kids to come out early. Look, Max, bottom line is this. You got to take this into consideration. You had two dudes. They were called the Height Brothers. Now, you had Nick Howard. This kid had a lot of promise. What does he do? He goes to college. Very uneventful first year, no doubt. The second year, he was pretty good. Here's the problem. The NBA, it's not about pretty good. You need to be great on the collegiate level, on the prep level, in summer leagues and what have you, in order for you to get the stats. Okay, Nick Howard was my teammate. That's, the That's what we're talking about him. Good ain't good we were called the Height Brothers. Point. That's How exactly my Love it. Let me finish. Let me Undrafted. Finish. Here's another example. I just say the Height Brothers. I wasn't talking about one individual. I was talking about two. What happens? One and done in a different way. One year, one ACL injury later, and look where he's at now. His future is clear clearly uncertain so you got to take advantage of that opportunity because you never know when an injury is going to cost you everything Stephen a listen to yourself Let's listen to yourself for a second you give one argument for why a kid should come out early a one and done situation i can give you 30 arguments this morning alone why they should stay in school and now you have to wonder what a kid like nick howard who has given up his college eligibility does next. What does he do next? First of all, don't sweat the technique. The argument, or one argument, as long as it's strong enough, that's all that matters. That's number one. Number two, the Hype Brothers was something special. What they really, really need to do. And I'm going to tell you what they need to do, Mac. They need to get back to playing together. And my sources are telling me the ACL injury has been completely healed. So go on a pro-am circuit. Go in summer leagues. Do what you got to do to get back on the court together to remind everybody of what you want to work. Because once you pull that off, the sky's the limit. That's what they need to do. Get back to playing playing ball together because when people see what you can do as one the other arguments don't really matter like I said don't sweat the technique very cool very cool inclusion of uh, of, of ESPN great job those two are gonna get to tell a story kind of and they're great at what they do in real life so they're good here chapter one the Rucker game here we go. Chapter one. Nice pick. Nice pick. There's a dish. Get that. That's two points. Come on. Finish it up. There we go. There we go. I want it. I got you. Back, back, back. Finish it. Two points. This is my court. My court. Step back. Give me that championship belt. We on fire. Ooh, see ya. Hey, your shoes are back there on the court.
game. 12 points, 4 assists, 3 boards, 2 steals. Performance grade, 98. We'll do chapter 2. We're going to call it an M. It's time to prove to everyone that the return is real. Make your way to the West Coast and play our game on Venice Beach. All right, here we go out in Venice. We're about to show these boys how it's done. Should have hit him that earlier. Pop it, Nick. Pop, lock it, drop it. Uh, my guy's open. Help me. Does anyone want to help? Oh, he didn't. He didn't see him. Nice put back. Nice put back. Woo. Finish it, Blake. Me and Blake are going to run a pick and roll game. Woo. That is pretty. Get out of my face! All right, guys. Well, that does it for this episode of NBA Live 18's the one, uh, their campaign mode. Come back to the channel to see episode two of the demo and the campaign, and uh, probably at the end of this, it'll probably be three episodes. At the end of the third episode, we'll give a little review of how I think NBA Live is, and really, I'm just trying to test it to see if I want to even play it at all. As always, thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I will catch y'all in the next one.